Man, where do we start? Um, it's August 28th, uh, 1963. That was the March on Washington. 1945, French Ricky met with Jackie Robinson about becoming the first black man to play in the major leagues. And yet somehow after all these things, the fact that a white guy like me knows some of those facts doesn't feel like it's very good. Uh, the divide that everybody talks about right now. Uh, as a coach, we always think about we. We talk about a team. What are we all about? What do we stand for? And so today when I think about we, it's not just our team. It's not just LAFC. We, for me today, would be all the people that really want change. And I know that's not everyone because the divisive, the divisive rhetoric and the lies and the misinformation that comes from other people. All we hear is about fear. Man, Doc Rivers said it so, so well when he spoke out the other day. They make it seem like they're coming to our town. They make it seem like they're coming to our city. I don't know who they are, but I do know about we. And I know that we're not getting the job done when we let any of that divisive rhetoric and misinformation and lies take away from what we need to be about, what we need to do. Uh, we need a real discussion on policing. That is simple. And I believe that there's a majority of people in the U.S. that understand that. But we also support the police. We're not anti-police. And when we let them put an ad that has a phone ringing and an answering machine picking up calls, that is getting in the way of the real things that we need to be on top of. And then we are losing. Then we are letting them win. So somehow we have to be better and smarter when we protest about police brutality. We've got to make sure that that protest is peaceful. Because if it's not peaceful, it's going to end up on some news or some social media, and it's going to take away from our efforts to get things the way they need to be. And so the we in this case are all of us that absolutely, we see these videos, we see these incredible murders, sad, sad families over and over and over. And we can't let the rhetoric and the misinformation and the lies get in the way of what we need to do. We can't be against each other. We've got to find a way to change that. And so whether it's the Baltimore Ravens coming out with a statement with real detail, that was awesome. I go back to Doc Rivers. Yes, when he speaks and says we, he's talking about being a black man. And I understand the kind of discussions that he had to have with his family are different than the discussions that I've had with my children. But I want for one second to know that you know what? We means Doc Rivers. We means me. We means all of us that see what's going on and want change. And we need to find the right way to speak respectfully to police who have a hard job, to work with police for new ways of policing, de-escalation. We've got to make sure that now we are winning this moment, all right? Because if we don't, the strategic words and information, misinformation, lies that comes from the other group of people is only taking us away from the things that we must, must find a way to change. It's not the most important thing. And I, I purposely, in the opening remarks, didn't speak about my experiences, experiences in Egypt. But I will, since you asked, say something. In Egypt, I was there for weeks, and I realized that it was impossible for people to know the truth. Between media, social media, misinformation, no one ever knew what was real. And sadly enough, finding the truth uh, in our country at this time has gotten really difficult. The social media world between trolls and bots and and all sorts of stuff that comes out twists people's minds in all the wrong ways. And it takes us off a fundamental sense of what's right and what's wrong. 
come on, there's enough people in our country. I'm optimistic. I believe there's enough people in our country that look at some of these incidents. I didn't mention Breonna Taylor. Yeah, but, but incidents where we must agree it's wrong. And then we must work with the police to find a way that it doesn't happen again. So yes, the truth in Egypt was impossible. And we can't let that happen in the United States. Yes, the actions are. But John, we have to be together, all right? Whether some days we wear Black Matters Lives t-shirts or some days our team's color is black and so if you can't wear a black t-shirt on the sideline, that doesn't mean that that day I'm not supportive and understanding of what Black Lives Matter means, all right? When we let protests turn violent, then there are people that misuse those clips about what Black Lives Matter is all about. Black Lives Matter is simple. For too long in this country, black lives didn't matter. And so enough of us must make sure that we're together in that belief. And whether you wear the T-shirt, whether you stand for the national anthem, whether you kneel for the national anthem, those aren't the important issues. The important issues are that we believe there must be change. And now it's, it's more than just a gesture. It's finding real ways. And as I said before, I believe that there's enough people on the right side of all of this. But man, oh man, if we let the words and the lies divide us, then they're winning, then we're losing, then we're not smart, then we're not good enough. And so for me, that, that's what's going through my head at the moment. Uh, yes, those remarks are wrong. That way of looking at things is wrong. Uh, and, and when we talk about real change, uh, again, understanding what a protest means. Uh, if you go back to Colin Kaepernick, there were people that made him out to not love the country. And it was a way of, again, dividing and taking away, understanding why he took a knee and, and respecting that decision. Uh, and knowing that in that moment, uh, he loves his country. Uh, I believe that, that taking a stand for something that is right is patriotism. And I believe that standing in front of people as a leader and telling lies is not patriotism. So uh, I think that there's enough there that we can all see that there's a pattern. And now I don't believe that there's a place for that type of leadership and ownership in our game. Uh, we've discussed what's going on. And so in that case, the we is our team. Uh, I've also had a chance because of uh, the great work of Will Kuntz and Marcus McDonald with our black employees, I've had a chance to speak to them. And so in this moment, the we is LAFC. And when I speak to the players, we talk about what's going on and how we must find a way to stand together. Uh, I really want players to understand and think for themselves. I don't want them to feel that they are going to be viewed one way or another uh, by whether they put a shirt, T-shirt on or whether they stand or kneel. What I want them to understand is that we must all fundamentally see what's going on that's wrong, and we must, as a team, stand for, for change. We must, as a club, find real ways to not just put out a statement, but to be involved in communities uh, to find ways so that we are really, truly doing something that matters. So that's the kind of conversation that we've been having lately. Yeah, let's be clear that that, that was a decision from the players. And what I'm proud of is that LAFC as an organization respected, understood, and stood with our players. And the players in the league, the black Players Coalition, the leadership among some of those guys, um, Justin Morrow, Mark Anthony Case taking a big role there, uh, uh, Jaleel Anibaba, uh, Jeremy Ibobise. There's a lot, of, a lot to be done, and these are young guys, but they have now led important discussions. I think there's moments when, as white, coaches as white players that we need to let them take the lead but because they're young we need to also encourage them encourage them and guide them and help them but that decision came from the players and LAFC 
from ownership, uh, through management, through, through the coaching staff, through all the employees. We were proud of what the players stood for, and we were all in agreement that that night it was the right thing to do.